this video is just sort of an off-the-cuff video in the raw because I just got this done and we're functioning here so I'm just sharing the status right now there have been a few folks that have been interested in following the build so I just wanted to get this up kind of quick and as noted this just got wired up about 10 minutes ago and we've got lots of cable runs to do and lots of fine tuning but pretty much right out of the gate here we've got full function of the X, Y, and Z. So just to show the movement here and more interestingly our arrows here are also lined up kind of serendipity here so for our Y axis which are these two and we're just running mock here on this Lowrider 3 from V1 Engineering. So I'll just give a little bit of a push here. We don't have much range obviously because these are not extended. But we've got smooth quiet movement on our Y. And this is no fine tuning, this is no setting up, this is no squaring, this is none of that. This is just kind of right out of the gate here but we've got our Y. Nice and quiet and smooth. Our X for left and right. We've got our, our X movement there. I want to be careful I don't roll over these wires till I get this done. And our Z, the way Mach is set up on here, page up and page down, is the Z rather than the arrows here. So we can go page down. And there's our Z going up and down on our gantry. And for the low rider here, this is not a high Z machine. This is kind of low for panel cuts. And you have an inch and a half or so of play, um, unless you put some risers on the side, which we might do at some point. But its stability is really as a low rider, kind of down low. And I also have not put in the holders here for the router, because I just wanted to get these other parts done first. So this is where we are right now. Another thing that I did, because these are all kind of modified and customized builds, so you sort of start off with the basic machine and then you tweak it to work for what you want to do with it. What I didn't want to do was take apart the whole gantry to put the additional struts on here. So for the time being, I built this triangle here, and this is really solid. It's not going anywhere. So we've got our rails here that are attached to our aluminum plates here, which are attached to our side plates as well. And this is just really, really solid. This gantry is really solid. And for those that are kind of new to the design, it's really simple. On It's simple in appearance, but in incredibly complicated in design. So for that side, it just rolls up and down on that roller skate bearing or that bearing there. And then for this side, we just roll on this EMT conduit. We're using belts here. The belts need to be tensioned and tuned and squared and all that. Right now we've just got this sitting here and I just kind of eyeballed the, the tensions here. But I wanted to share what we have going on at the moment. The parts, the 3D printed parts got here on Tuesday of last week. I started working on this on Wednesday and it's Saturday now. So less than a week we've got the beginnings of a functional really big CNC machine. And because I want to use as much of this as I can, as much of the uh, 4x8 sheet as I can, this is the tension nut for our our belt right there. So I made this years ago for something and almost ditched it a long time ago. But this works really well as a ratchet wrench for tightening those there. So yay, cool. This controller here is borrowed from my 6040 machine and seems to be working okay for this. I want to tweak some of the power settings for a couple of the steppers here because I think we can lower some of our current keep these guys a little bit cooler and uh, still achieve what we want to achieve. So in the coming weeks 
when we get the wire management under control and we can run the whole way up and down. That'll be cool. We'll share those videos as well as a dust collection system. We're going to get this kind of set up for some serious dust collection rather than just a shop vac. Um, so all kinds of cool things in the works. But wanted to share what we have right now and we'll go from there. Really cool design. Check out V1 Engineering if you're interested in this stuff because it's really cool. Thanks for taking a look.